Hello, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Word document that contains the commands, the console output, and the graphics from your R script in RStudio. You'll need to use this procedure to create a Word file for all of your lab assignments this semester. Now note I've started RStudio and opened a simple script file. This script file creates three simple vectors, x, y, and the product of x and y, combines them into a data frame called Josh, and uh, creates a simple scatter plot. Now typically, you would run the commands and note the output in the console. For example, I can start at line one and just hit run, and uh, I can see the commands starting to appear. Um, if I look at uh, my environment, you'll see I've now created both of those vectors. I can hit run again and it'll create uh, the product of those two. And now I have a third vector. I hit run again and it displays the contents of product. Uh, I can create the data frame and look at the contents of the data frame. And then when I uh, uh, create, when I actually plot, the uh, plot output will appear in the plot pane down in my lower right hand corner. So this is how you would uh, typically run the commands in your script file to make, every, make sure that everything is working properly and you get the result that you're looking for. But uh, uh, to save these commands and output into a Word file, there's a step that you have to take. What you're going to do is use something called uh, the compile report command. Now there are three ways you can access this command in uh, RStudio. The first one is from the file menu. You can go down and uh, hit uh, compile report. A second way is on the script editor pane here. You can press this little button that looks like a notebook that says compile report. Or you can also see there that I could uh, press uh, the command or I could press the buttons Control and Shift and K at the same time, and I would also be able to compile the report. Now, before I actually do this, I want to let you know that the first time you go to press this button or compile a report, uh, RStudio is going to prompt you to install some packages. And uh, you'll say yes to that, and it will take a bit of time uh, because there are a number of packages that have to be installed. Um, since I've already installed the packages, um, uh, you won't see that uh, uh, in this demonstration, but don't be concerned about that uh, when you uh, go to compile a report for the first time. So once you have uh, installed RStudio, uh, or sorry, uh, installed the packages in RStudio to compile the report, when you press the button, what will happen is it'll come back and uh, 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 you'll get this uh, dialog box that'll ask you to, uh, uh, about compiling a report. And uh, I want you to select uh, Microsoft Word, although you could pick obviously either HTML or a PDF format. And uh, when you're ready to go, just uh, press the compile button. And uh, what will happen is uh, up in the, uh, well, what will happen is it'll actually create the Word file. And you can see here that I have uh, um, uh, all of the commands uh, that uh, from the script file. Plus, notice that uh, when I uh, that it displayed uh, the product command, uh, uh, the the output from the product command, and it also displayed the uh, data frame, just like in the console output. And you can also see the simple plot. So all of that is in the Word file, and I'll just go ahead and uh, close out of that, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now down in uh, the, this uh, pane in the lower right-hand corner, um, even though it's showing the plot right now, if I click on the Files tab, you'll notice that there is now a, uh, a, uh, uh, a new file here that's called, uh, uh, that has exactly the same name as the script file that I was running, but also but now it has an extension .x. 
and this appears in the working directory with my other files here. So I could actually go, I could actually click on this and uh, my document would open in Microsoft Word so it's just like a Word file. Um, I could make, I could add things, I could uh, make edits to this. Uh, the plot is a picture uh, in uh, Microsoft Word but uh, that is the file that you will upload into Canvas. So that's the end of the tu tutorial. I uh, hope uh, you find this uh, a useful uh, 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 technique.